I screen, you screen, we all screen for garden screens. Well, it's true, isn't it? We all do. I mean, privacy is a big issue for a lot of people. And the automatic response is to plant a tree or plant a hedge, which is all well and good, but a little bit boring. So don't let the imagination stop there. There is plenty of ways to give your place that little bit of difference. Screens come in all shapes and sizes. Laser cut steel, fiberglass, aluminium, plastic, terracotta, reeds, bamboo, compressed sheeting, PVC, the list goes on and on. But I absolutely love the look of hardwood timber and it's a great way to soften an area and give it a real organic feel. I don't think you could show me a garden that couldn't be complemented by timber. But make sure you always try and use a recycled or sustainable timber where you can. Handmade hardwood timber louver screens look amazing when used correctly and they give me a real sense of relaxation. Now they can be movable or fixed and in this scenario we have them fixed because they're out the front of a bedroom window so you can see out but not in and they let the light through but not the eyes of a passerby. To divide the driveway from the garden and to create a point of entrance into this property I've put in this 40 by 40 mil horizontal hardwood screen. Its impact, in my opinion, is dynamite. Now using 40 by 40 mil slats gives this screen a real structured, quite architectural look, which is the opposite, but complementary to the free flowing grasses planted below. If you've got limited space on your drive, like we have here, and you want a soft visual divide from the neighbours, but if you planted a hedge, it would inevitably encroach onto the driveway, leaving you space for the car, but not to get in and out. Well, there is a solution that will make you the envy of the neighbourhood, and that's what we've done here. We've constructed a simple hardwood frame, stainless steel tension wire, and some uplighting which accentuates and highlights the entrance to the property. And as you can see, all this only takes up about 150 mil. And if you do happen to hit the car door, the only damage will be losing a few leaves. There are loads of vines you can use for this application, but if you love your natives, then this new variety of Hardenbergia is hard to go past. It's called Mima. Now it is a ground cover, but it will climb if you train it. It has its obvious Hardenbergia traits, like the prolific purple flower and its ability to withstand periods of no water. But the best thing about it is the leaves stay green throughout cold winters and they hold up through dry, hot winds. Hardenbergia Mima, an exciting new addition to our native flora. So as I've shown you, there are some organic looking ways of bringing privacy back into your garden.